Good morning. The topic we chose this morning is conflict and how to deal with conflict. How to get to yes without giving in. There's a book we really love called Getting to Yes. It's written by two Harvard negotiators. And in that book, they talk about two different types of negotiation, positional versus principled. Positional arguing is what most people get in. into an argument with someone and you know that you are right. And I'm right. I'm right. I'm right. Oh, I'm always right. The guy who married us said that I'm always right. Ah, oh, but... Yeah, yeah, I'm right. Positional arguing will get you in huge trouble. Because with positional arguing, you're digging your heels in because you know you're right. Certainly can't be wrong. The problem is the other person is digging their heels in because they're right. And nobody gets anywhere because I'm right, you're right. Like, uh, show bedhead? off the bedhead Oh, this yeah, morning. we got bedhead. The well, we always do, but it's oh. like a new style every morning. <laughs> it, yeah, I, positional arguing. The negotiators that wrote this book wrote it for governments and people that were in politics on how to get what they want. This 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 book works great for relationships too, because a relationship can quickly turn into a war. <laughs> Anytime that one person or another person wants something, because everybody wants something, right? So when you're arguing, you really have to, and you're getting into this kind of positional arguing, you got to stop, take check a yourself, breath. Check yourself. Yes. It takes practice, but you've both got to stop and figure out what it is that you're trying to get out of this negotiation. What is it that you want? And if emotions start getting heightened, probably operating from that positional arguing or negotiation, positional negotiation. What's happening is your fear is taking over the argument and it's just damage your relationship yep. in a way that you don't want for really no reason. So stop, take a breath, figure out what it is you both want. Get out of fight or flight. Chances are that you really want the same thing, but you're arguing about two different things. It's the reality is you're probably talking about the same thing. You probably want the same thing. You're just not saying the same thing to the same person because they're in their position. You're in your position. Nobody's getting anywhere because everybody's busy fit with their panties in a bunch. Right. Well, you're both on the offense, defense. You're just like ready to do battle. So take a breath. Step back. Negotiation is not a battle. So the other way to negotiate, and one that we prefer, is called principled negotiation. The principality of the thing. So you find out what it is you, that you want from your from. What your are they truth. looking for? What are you looking for? <laughs> My position wins. No, I win. <laughs> I win. So how to tell the difference when you're in each of these different types of negotiation? So positional, you're like ready to do battle. You're uh, uh, fight or, or flight. You're like in principled negotiation, everything starts to flow. You're actually looking at what does the other person want to get out of this? What are their needs and what are my needs? Both sides of the negotiation. How can both of these be met and you come together instead of battling each other? It's about what was I say? <laughs> walking in the other person's moccasins, seeing through their eyes. Because everybody wears moccasins. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. But anyway, seeing through the other person's eyes and seeing being a what, little, they're, what they're trying to get, what you're trying to get. Being empathic and compassionate. One thing that might cause you to be super positional is if you're a person that really has gotten trodden upon in their life. A Shakespeare nerd comes out like every once in a while. You might have been trod upon in your youth. <laughs> and now as an adult, you are arguing because you want to get what you want. You really, really are like, no, I've given in. I've been submitted too much. I'm going to get I what I want. Hurt. So you think you're being strong and assertive and, and powerful, but you might actually just be really, really on the defensive. So if you find yourself being positional when really there is no reason other than you're standing your ground for pride's sake, then it's time to go and look at the principle of negotiation. Take a breath and see what it is you both want out of the situation. So recognizing when you're in that positional, you're in the state of fight or flight. In that state, your higher brain functions are cut off and all you're worried about is getting what you want. And in principle negotiation, you're both trying to get to the same thing and you're working together as a team to get to that. Hopefully that gives you a little bit more on how to recognize when you're in these different states and how to work together as a partnership to get what you want and to see what the other person wants. This works for friends, lovers, siblings, parent, child, whatever, just it works with any relationship. Any communication, any negotiation. If the person you're arguing with is super positional and you recognize that, there is definitely a way for you to get them out of their positional arguing by being empathic and empathetic, compassionate, and asking them what it is they want. And as soon as you like give them a little bit of compassion and you let them know you're hearing them, then negotiations will go a lot smoother for both of you. It's alleviating their fight or flight response by listening. Recognize when they're in fear.